Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. Do you ever use the snipping tool in Windows to create screenshots and save them as images? Did you know that you can now screen record with the snipping tool? Screen recordings are great for when you want to create a presentation video or an explainer video of how to do something on your computer. Let me show you how. All right, so first thing we want to do is open up the snipping tool. We can come down and search for it here by typing in snip and we can launch it. What I like to do is right click on it and pin it to the taskbar. I've already got it pinned, so it says unpin from taskbar. The reason I do that is because I use it so often, it's just one click away down here on my taskbar. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my snipping tool. It opens up, got this little window to with our controls. And for a long time, the snipping tool was used to take screenshots of something on your computer. So that's the default, which is this little camera icon. You can use that and click new to create your screenshot. But now we can do screen recordings of something on our computer. So I can go here to the video camera icon and now I can click new and start a new video recording. All right, so in this example, I'm gonna go to the internet and I want to make a quick video to show my students how to use this website, musictheory.net. So I'm gonna pull up my snipping tool and I'm going to click new. Then you see I get these crosshairs and you can see my screen has kind of dimmed and grayed out. This allows me to now left click and hold and drag across the area that I want to capture. And this is nice because I may not want to capture my entire computer screen. So I can make that selection, let go, and now it's ready to record. I'll go up here to the start button and I will begin the recording. And keep in mind that this will also pick up my narration. So here is your little microphone to make sure that you have the correct microphone selected. You have that option there. This option here is whether or not you want to include the system audio of your computer. So for example, if you're playing back sound on the computer, you'll want to make sure that's turned on. All right, so let me make my quick video. I'll click start and I'll get a countdown. Okay, so when you get to the music theory exercises, you'll want to scroll down to keyboard notes identification. Okay, you can see when I'm finished there, I clicked the red record button to stop it. We're now seeing the video here load up in the snipping tool. If I wanna play it back, I can go down here and click play. Okay, so when you get to the music theory exercises, you'll wanna scroll down to, and we can pause it after we've previewed. Now we can save it to our desktop up here at the right. We have our save button and we can go ahead and save this video. We can upload it to YouTube, for example, or share it in other ways. Also, I wanna call out up here in the top right in the more menu, you can go to settings and here you have some options. So you'll see options on your screenshots, but down here for screen recording, you can include the microphone input by default. You can also include the system audio by default every time a screen recording starts. So those options are available to you when it comes to your screen recording. Something else to call out, if you use the ClipChamp video editor in Windows, you can click here and open it in ClipChamp and do some editing. All right, and that is how you use the snipping tool to create screen recordings. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you wanna see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. If you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.